Welcome back to Flare Prime. I'm Grant Coffey. As we discussed in previous episodes, at a chemical scene, it's very important to quickly categorize a chemical into a general family. Calorimetric test strips or test kits like these will give you that presumptive test. It'll tell you the general threat, uh, what's the category. But what's more important is to identify specific chemicals on scene. If you do that, it can help you with a law enforcement effort. In other words, instead of just identifying who the bad guy is, you may be able to then identify and follow upstream the source of the bomb lab or the source of the drug lab. That's incredibly important. Once you've done a presumptive test, then it's important to get a confirmatory analysis. There are several tools to do this. Some are Raman, infrared spectroscopy, and the GCMS. The GCMS stands for Gas Chromatography and Mass Spectrometry. I know that's a tongue twister, but what's the key about that is it's the gold standard. What it really does is it brings the lab right to the scene. The GCMS is very selective, very sensitive with a broad capability. It will detect trace amounts that we can't even see on many, many products. It's used to identify trace amounts of narcotics, explosives, chemical agents, environmental contaminants. You can use it at many of the scenes that have these present, like overhaul scenes, environmental cleanup scenes, post-fire scenes, post-blast scenes. So remember, don't walk into an unknown chemical scene unprepared. Do your presumptive tests first, but if you want confirmatory tests from the gold standard, convince your brass to get you a GCMS. It'll keep you, your team, and the public safe. We've got a great download on this one. Just visit flare.com slash prime. Thank you for watching.